Now we're going to our inside move. This is one of my favorites because a lot of people teach it wrong, in my opinion, and a lot of players waste it, and it's not a good move. So, when I'm going to do an inside move to second base, I have to sell it. Sell, sell, sell the base runner on the fact that it looks like you're going to the plate still. So, from, a, from your angle, this looks, you're the base runner, it looks like I'm going to the plate from here, doesn't it? Because I am, right? So, if I'm going to sell it, I have to make sure that looks the exact same as if I'm going to the plate or as in I'm going to second base instead. You have to sell it. You're going to see kids do this. That did not look like I was going to the plate. You're going to see kids do this. Hands go all the way up, and they don't do that when they pitch. So that is tipping your pitch or tipping the play itself. So if you're going to sell this move, I recommend you really come up, boom, separate the hands exact same spot, and when this foot goes down, you try to get as low as you can, right? That looks like you're committed to the plate. Now, when I can go from here to here, now I can swing my left foot around. That sold the base runner. I have to also know how to be aggressive with my lead hip, my front hip, on this play. If you're not aggressive with the lead hip, you can tend to balk and lean this way because the, the, your, your balance, your weight distribution went the wrong way. So when you come up looking, one, U, C, L, boom. I come up, I start to come down. It looks like I'm pitching still. If I were to go to the plate or go from here to here, aggressively with the front hip and my foot on my leg swing, and when I land, my arm is up in a powerful position in case I have to throw the ball quickly. Show you again. Inside move, come up looking, boom. Sell it, boom, there it is. Show you full speed. Boom. That is not a buck. You're going to get a lot of umpires at the youth level that will argue that because they haven't seen a move that good before. So don't argue with them. They, they haven't seen it that good, so they don't know what to do. The other coach is going to yell, that's a buck. And then you get in a situation where you have to defend your players. I've been in, this, I've been in that situation. you got to defend them because you're teaching them the game the right way. And the umpire doesn't even know the rules, and neither does the other coach. And then you're defending your player, and you get tossed. I've been there. So if, you're, if you want to cheat on this move, watch my heel. Watch my heel on this. I'm getting my sign from the catcher. As I come up, I turn my heel towards the plate. So I get here. I turn my heel towards the plate and come up. The reason you want to do that sometimes is if your coach gives you a horn series, let's say horns three, right? Horns three is an inside move, and your catcher gets horns three to you, that tells me, okay, they, my manager in the dugout wants an inside move here, so I'm going to cheat so I don't balk. I cheat and turn as I come up. This allows me to be on the ball with my foot better and really spin better, so this rubber doesn't get my foot stuck and I can't turn and then I, I, I lean this way and that's the box. So get your sign, whatever it is, turn it as you come up, boom. And now you're able to move freely on the ball of your foot. Another move you can do, you see guys in the big leagues do it, you get here, come set, boom. They just go up and straight back down. <laughs> you stepped off. There's no difference in me stepping off now. There's no difference in me stepping off now or if I want to do it right now. 
There's no difference. So as long as this wave goes up and disengages from the rubber, you stepped off. Now I can turn and throw it if I have to, only if you have to. So the lower that base runner can see your foot go down to the ground, he's thinking what? That you're going to the plate. But in essence, I'm not. I'm going boom, to him. So make sure you separate your hands at the same time when you do this because he'll be able to think, okay, he's going to the plate. So really good pickoff moves when you need them. Just show me pickoff moves just to show. 